just continuing where I left off, um, as I was saying, in regards to end times kind of timeline, um, I don't have any direct words of knowledge or prophecies from the Lord on it. I'm not claiming to know dates. Um, but that being said, just given logic, just given studying and logic, um, I would say we don't have more than a year or two before stuff gets really bad. This is October of 2018. The Stackham and Packham apartments are being built. Uh, the agenda, I mean, logic, guys, the, the name of the plan is Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030. If I had to guess, I'd say they're going to, gee, start it in 2021. Doesn't take a genius to figure that out. Um, and, you know, they'll probably push really hard until about 2030. Um, when I pray, and I disclaimer, I can't say thusly if God told me this, but I keep hearing 2020 in my head. So I think it's going to start getting really bad around 2020. I mean, it's, it's already starting to get bad. It's been, it's like been a slow burn. Things are happening and it's going to just get worse. Um, I think it's going to start getting really bad around 2020, really, really bad around 2021 and it will be complete by 2030. This just, a, this is just my personal theory. This is not God talking. This is Anne talking personal theory, but I'm a smart person because God made me smart and I've been studying this and that's my logical theory. Okay. So, plan accordingly. You don't have time right now to sin. You don't have time to be worldly and vain and mess up. You have less time than you think. Actually, even if you live to be 100, you have less time than you think. Don't focus on this life and the vain things in this life. They're fleeting. You don't take a single belonging with you. Focus on the next life. Focus on following the Bible, obeying the Bible, and helping others, because those are the three things you're taking to the next life. And, well, following Jesus and having Jesus as your, your king. Those are the four things you take to the next life. You don't take your clothes. You don't take your car. You don't take your job. You don't take your, your degrees. You don't take your, your plasma TV. Okay? Sorry for freaking out on you, but I'm still a little freaked out. Um, but as I'm going to be driving home, I'm going to be reminding myself. It's okay. You know what's coming. This is only temporary. Even if you suffer for the next few years, you will wake up in heaven. Or at least you're aiming to. So thank you for that knowledge, Yah. Yah is God's name. Um, I'm so blessed that you rescue me and you give me this knowledge help everyone in this video to have the priorities you have given me, that you just had mercy to teach me. Show them that this life is not the priority, that the next life is, and work on their hearts to surrender their lives to you because it's the only thing that will matter at the end of time. Help weed sin out of their lives, help weed sin out of my life, and make me worthy to enter your kingdom. And thank you for protecting me and giving me knowledge of these things. In Yahshua's name, I thank you and praise you. Amen. All right, bye.